The Redfin data scientists and thought leaders predict what the 2017 housing market is going to look like under a new president. The Trump administration touts three major policies that could significantly impact the U.S. real estate market. Infrastructure spending, tax cuts, and changes to immigration policy. As these policies take shape, they're going to primarily affect new construction and mortgage rates. They predict strong buyer interest, more access to credit, and a slight increase in inventory, yet home prices are going to stay pretty steady. Here's five of their predictions. Number one, the housing market will continue to grow at a slower pace. Baby boomers will be less relevant as the largest generation of Americans referred to as millennials will continue to become of home buying age. The strength of sales by area will depend upon the inventory of starter homes that are going to meet the demand of the millennial home buyers. Number two, 2017 will be the fastest real estate market on record. In 2016 nationally, the typical home stayed on the market for 52 days. In the Sacramento area, the median time on the market in December was only 22 days. Number three, nationally, new construction growth will slow due to the lack of workers. Nearly one in four construction workers are foreign born, so stricter immigration policies can make the problem worse and bring a whole new group of people into the market. This also attributes to the lack of affordable starter homes for first time home buyers. Number four, mortgage rates will increase slightly, but not too much or too fast. Redfin says that the rates are gonna, not gonna go more than 4.3% on the 30 year fixed rate, but we're almost there already so we'll see many experts are predicting the mid to high fours by the end of the year number five more people will have access to home loans the government sponsored mortgage giants like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will increase the loan limits to 424,100 from 417,000 in most regions in the United States and that's already happened you can read the entire article on the Redfin website for more of their predictions the bottom line is wait and see with this new administration and what it holds for the mortgage and real estate industries as their policies take shape. Now, for minding your own business. So do you have call reluctance? Do you find the phone weighs a thousand pounds sometimes? We all know because we've heard it a thousand times to call your database and past clients at least once a quarter and your top 50 once a month. But alas, we still don't do it. Why? It's called call reluctance. The very best leverage opportunity you have in the business is the clients you've worked with and that like you and trust you. Their referrals mean a lot to your success and you know that. So to overcome your call reluctance, try these three steps. Number one, create a schedule to call five past clients every single day. Include their email, phone number, and any other notes you might need to refresh your memory of them. Number two, take a moment before calling and try to understand what's happening in their worlds through social media if possible. Number three, block out the same time every day to make the calls and now start calling. See how things are going for them, care about them. If they have any family or friends, you might be able to help with a home search or in need of a home evaluation. In real estate, there's a fine line in keeping in touch with your past clients and becoming annoying. So don't walk over it. Keep it personal, make all those calls. Remember they're your friends and you're there to help them. Well, that's it for another Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.